Look at some of the Lord's beautiful creations. Look how tiny this starts off. And it goes to this. Let me rewind it all the way back. Because look at this. You're like, what is that? A flower bud? Then it goes to this. Then it goes to this. Then it goes to that. And now we start working our way on up to something that's almost edible. And then we're going to skip around because I don't want to bore y'all. And then it gets to these. But where it truly starts is from a tiny little seed. And then we get the tree. Like, God creation is so beautiful, including us. But yet we're so amazed with things like money, a paper thing that still comes back from trees. You see how it's all connected? But well, we go out and we give credit to man and the things that they accomplish. When the Lord was the first creator, the first set of accomplishments was greater than he, or great in he, I should say. Now we got a tree with all this rhyming I'm doing. I don't know, but I hope you see. What? I crack myself up sometimes, but what I'm trying to say is, this is truly food. Tons of it. And every season, the Lord is speaking to us and he's telling us, eat. You see, when Adam and Eve was in the garden, they had an abundance of everything from coconuts to apples to all types of stuff. And he told them not to eat one fruit off of one tree, but they had everything we had all the options that's kind of like the world we live in and now we have so many options to the point that sometimes we don't even know what to eat or what to consume or what to even take in or what to even do and a lot of us are searching in this world for the next answer and where to go and how to do this and how to do that but god is always speaking and he's saying it's just simple as going back to the beginning but the lord is speaking because a lot of the times these thoughts these topics that i talk about it's not just me making them up well, at one point I was kind of making but stuff. But now you just got to come out here, like on the land, and just take in nature. And then the Lord is speaking because you see, he is always speaking in these environments. We think he's speaking in the car ride to work or at the parties or turning up 12, 2 o'clock in the morning in the club. And that's not it. God is always feeding us. He is continuously providing for us and every giving us everything that we possibly need to function and the capacity that he has created us to do so, but it is all up to us who gets in the way and complicates stuff. If you truly want the answers in life, you have to rewind it back, step back from the busy life that you got going on, searching for and striving for all these things and stuff and chasing after this so-called mighty dollar and get back to nature. That is where the Lord is always speaking his best words, his best messages, his best sermons are out here in nature. And I know a lot of y'all might think, this dude is crazy. I don't know what he's talking about. But the ones who know, know. I don't have to do too much more breaking down. People know. Once you woke, once you understand, and you out of that matrix, that whole consume, consume, do, 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 be into all the holidays and all this man-made things, you'll understand and be like, you know what? It's the same thing every year. Money makers just want to make money. Put it that so way. So why would they want you to consume things that are actually healthy or get into environments that are actually healthy for you? where the Lord is pretty much saying, you come back to the creator. This is where I am. If you want to talk to me, it's like kind of like, you know, like when you step out on faith and you go out to college or you go out and you want to live on your own and stuff like that. And then it fails. And then you come back home to your parents. Kind of like that. Like we're going out into the world, trying to figure out, oh, we're trying to like, yeah, I got this. I'm maneuvering, moving. We stumble, we fall. But then we could come right back to this, where it all begins. But let me end it on that. Hope y'all are blessed by this message on today. Hope y'all having a blessed day everything is working out according to the lord's will for your life not the way you may want it but according to the lord's will for your life and trust and believe faith of the mustard seed that god is always working he working everything out even while you sleep while you wake while you trying to push through all these doors that he keeps closing on you he is working everything out and he has a greater plan for you and a greater mission you just have to search for your purpose and understand that you are great and mighty. Don't let nobody stop you. Don't let nobody pull and you down. Always, always keep God in the center of everything that you have going on because we are blessed by staying close to him. We are blessed and have he has all the answers for us. But we just got to stay close. Listen for his soft voice because he's not going to yell at you now. Listen for his voice and he'll continue to guide you one step at if a time. If you get confused, let me show you how these steps work. One step. One step, one step at a time, not these big steps like that. Mm -mm. There's baby steps.
till we get there. I'm telling you, this whole plot is gonna be full of fruits and stuff that we could eat. Mark my words. Love y'all. Take care of yourself. Until next time.